Hi, my name is Martin and I'm here with Education Ecosystem to show you how to deploy a static page on Cloudflare using Cloudflare Pages. Cloudflare Pages is a Jamstack platform similar to something like Netlify or Vizel, meaning it's for static front-end applications. This is a fantastic way to get a simple yet fancy looking website off the ground fast. So for the sake of this tutorial, let's imagine that we have this very simple website, which as you can see is just a static HTML page that displays some HTML, says hello world, and says this is a simple application for showcasing Cloudflare pages. Bear in mind, it is possible to deploy something way more advanced than this, something like a React or even an Angular application that doesn't take any, any dynamic data. So keep that in mind. So with the given example code, let's look into how we might be able to deploy that. So the first thing we want to do is to browse to either pages.cloudflare.com, which will lead you to this side, or alternatively, if you already have a Cloudflare account and or you're already logged in, you can go to dash.cloudflare.com. If you're logged in, this should take you directly to your dashboard. If not, it will prompt you for your login. From here, you can go to Pages and create a project. From here, it's possible to correct directly to your GitHub account, which is what we're going to do. Install and authorize, log in with GitHub. Once that is complete, we are able to see all of the various GitHub repositories that I have and select the one that we want to launch. Before we can launch the current site, we'll need to make sure that we have it on GitHub. So in order to do that, we'll press go over to GitHub, log in, click new repository. We'll go for Cloudflare pages demo a demo page for using Cloudflare pages. We don't need to initialize it with either a readme or anything of the sort because we just want to display the example we have. We create this repository, which should now take us to a page that displays exactly what it is that we need to do in order to uh, get our code over onto GitHub. So let's do first things first and tap back over into our, sorry, our terminal. And uh, let's press to a folder where we might want to store this code. So I'll go to my code folder. Here I'll make a folder called Cloudflare Pages Demo. From here, we'll take the code that we have and save it. And we'll navigate to that very folder, which is right here in my case, and we'll call that index.html. So if you are just using an HTML uh, file like I am, bear in mind it has to be labeled index.html. That's just the way that web browsers work. They will always look for an index.html file. So we store that. From here, we can go back over onto our terminal. I can full screen that for you so it's easy to see. You can see the into the folder. Here we can type git status, and as you can see, this is not yet a git repository. So in order to get that started, we can type git init. From here, we can do git status again, and I just have a shorthand called gs, which will display the untracked file, and to which we can type git add dot, which uh, in which the dot represents current folder. So we are adding all files in the current folder type status again just to follow along we can see that it's ready to be committed so we can type git commit dash m uh, for message to provide and we can make that initialize repository now we get to type git push that will throw an error because we do not have any remotes yet um, to fetch that remote we can min minimize this window we can hop back over onto our browser and we can see that 
the repository we need to add looks like this where this is the this is the part where we add the remote so we come back over here kind of maximize this again and we paste this in just gonna remove this and that one there and now we should be able to do git push master and then we specify origin so we're pushing master branch to origin and as you can tell we added a remote and we called it origin uh, this is a best practice and very common with using Git, but you could theoretically call it anything. So now we're creating the link between master and origin. Oh, maybe I missed something. So we'll go ahead and just make sure we did that right. Oh, dash you. So let's try one more time. Get remote, get GitHub, blah, 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 blah. Oh, get branch M master. So that's an important step because it specifies uh, to the remote what master is. And just to make sure we got this again. So you can use main, that's more common nowadays, but my version of Git is still initializing with master. So I'll just use that for convenience. And now we should be able to push. Oh. Oh, I'm being stupid. So it's origin master, not master origin. So we're pushing to the remote from this branch. Apologies. And you can see that worked just fine. And if we come over back onto our website and we hit refresh, we should now be able to see our index.html file, just as expected. That means we can now go ahead and use this repository when posting to Cloudflare pages. So we'll come back over here. We will hit refresh again to make sure this website has our all our repositories. And as we can see, just this place in top because it's the latest one we've been working on. So let's use that. We can set up. Here we get to choose what is our production branch. And as we just went through, that's called master. Do we have any build specific settings? This might, if we were using React, Gatsby, Next, Nux, Swell, Vue, Angular, and so on and so forth. We're not using any of those as we are pasting static HTML. So let's not do anything for this so far. We'll leave this all blank as we don't need to do anything for this to work. We'll save and deploy. And that should put our brand new demo HTML website live on Cloudflare pages.
As you can see, after just short of three minutes, we get a status that your site was now deployed. So that means this was a success and our net page is now available in the cloud. So let's go ahead and find that. So as we have not attached any domains to this yet, we'll just be using the um, automatically generated URL that Cloudflare generates for us. And we can access that by clicking the icon right here. And as you can see, this is our brand new HTML website live in the browser using Cloudflare pages. Thanks for watching. This was Martin with Education Ecosystem. Hope you learned a thing or two and see you in the next one.